Suravi Dumulduz lives with her family in Tulketh Heights, a converted mill on the edge of the University of Central Lancashire campus, where she has a part-time lecturing position in architecture. This morning, she is leaving for a seamless journey to Delft in the Netherlands. She uses an integrated mobility service to get to a business meeting and conference, taking her four-year-old daughter with her. Come on. Hurry up. We're going all the way to Delft today. Oh, oh not yet. Come on. Come on. Oh, i better check us in now. Hello, Brain Plus. What's the best route from Preston to Delft? Responding to voice recognition, a through ticket across Europe is provided with the cheapest, quickest and best route automatically given. The service is like going to a good restaurant. Look at the menu, specify what you would like, sit back and have an enjoyable time. Saravi's credit card is charged for the journey and her device acts as the ticket. We're in such a rush. I'm grateful that I was able to send all my display materials as high-speed freight on the overnight express train last night. Oh, what have you done now? Preston International Interchange now works with timed pulse departures, where trains leave every 15 minutes around the Preston and East Lancashire region, including tram train to Blackpool and the Fylde Coast, high-speed rail to London and mainland Europe, national rail to various destinations around the UK, bus rapid transit and bus to Preston and surrounds. An international Eurostar train direct to Brussels, Rotterdam and Amsterdam, which departs from Preston every hour stopping at London Western Gateway and London Olympic International. Her e-ticket is automatically checked. Since the UK remains outside the EU core area, which came into existence in 2020, security software automatically recognises her as a reliable passenger, needing no passport check into the EU. Look, we've just passed Manchester. Would you like me to read you a story? Once upon a time, Shall I take you to the play carriage now? <laughs> See you later. Suravi's train travels on HS2, High Speed 2, the main north-south high-speed UK line from London to the Midlands and north of England, which opened in 2028. Controversial in 2013, it is now accepted as a key element in the European public transport network. It is Europe's fastest, with trains travelling at up to 400 kilometres an hour, as fast as possible, but also as fast as necessary to compete with short-haul air trips from the UK to mainland Northwest England airports, which have virtually disappeared since it opened. Transiting London via a short, special link to the older and slightly slower HS1, it passes through the Channel Tunnel and runs non-stop through France and Belgium. We're nearly there. Yes, thanks. It's been a great journey. I'll give you the latest version of my report when we meet later. Oh, better go now. We're just approaching Rotterdam and I'm not sure where to get my connection to Delft.
No traveller is left behind even when there are disruptions. There is always help at hand personally in the main stations. Or users can use their mobile devices to access the latest information. Since the 15-minute guarantee is broken, Suravi automatically receives compensation direct to her bank account without the need to claim. On return, her travel bill is automatically and directly charged and itemized, including business travel and compensation claims. There is no form filling nowadays. At last, we're here in Delft. Where's that automated car I booked? Oh, there you are, you clever thing. You knew exactly which train I was on. Right, now, let's get these bags dropped off at the hotel and then I can take you to the creche to meet some new friends. Automated car, creche and bicycle. These are all booked and paid for as part of the door-to-door e-ticket. Hey, Saravi. Good to see you. How was your journey? It was great. Really comfortable and so easy to manage the different interchanges. I didn't even have to think about what would be the best route. What an improvement from the bad old days when public transport was often viewed as a joke, only for use as a last resort rather than our first choice. Suravi was able to buy a door-to-door -door ticket, taking her all the way from Preston to Delft using an integrated mobility service. She can book the route and manage the different interchanges. Tickets can be bought across all operators Europe-wide as part of e-Ticket Europe. Information about through journeys and particular stages of the journey is always easy to access. This seems simple to the user, but of course is quite complicated to deliver with the integration of many operators all working together. There has been an incredible effort behind the scenes to deliver best practice known in 2013 at the EU level, national and city levels, to ensure that the seamless public transport journey has been designed from the user's perspective. The seamless public transport journey has also been central to the development of the sustainable city. Many stations have been redesigned as hubs for travel and interchange and centers for their surrounding communities. Every city has excellent intercity and regional connections with a range of high-speed rail, tram train, tram, bus rapid transit and bus options depending on location and of course great walk and cycle facilities the quality of the journey experience has been hugely improved and the user is at the center the productive journey is now a little different to the rest of the day in the office or at home we can still access the activities and entertainment we require or desire and of course, travel has been revolutionized in that it is now clean, electric travel with very low energy consumption. Since all rail is now electrified and most power sources are renewable, travel is clean with very low energy consumption. Saravi's whole journey was virtually carbon-free.